Hey guys, we're back with uh, part two to grooming Shelties. We're gonna be showing a lot of advanced tips today and some show and competition tips on these guys. These guys are all either retired show dogs or uh, currently showing dogs. Um, so we're gonna be showing here at the Edmonton campus today how to groom this beautiful breed. There's a lot of really, really cool subtle techniques that are gonna help you just totally up level your grooming. And I'm gonna show you every step of the way today. So uh, keep tuned throughout the day as we go. Um, let me just pass you over the camera guy and we will keep this going. And I'll show you guys the next stage. So we've bathed and we have added a little bit of this Mount X, it's actually just a non-oil based conditioner. That's gonna be what you want to use. We use no conditioner in the bathtub, but an oil, non-oil based conditioner, so a vinegar based one, really light, but really nourishing to the coat. And we only did it on the body of the dog, the rear end, the tail, the frills, but not on the mane. So not on the mane part, because we are gonna totally bring up that mane afterwards at the end of the groom. So let me pass you over here. Okay guys, so on our shelfies, we want to kind of have a very nice part down the middle of the back. And we want it to really wrap around the dog. Just beautifully lay all the way down the thighs. We want quite a bit of volume in the rear end. So once we blow dry everything, first on the back against the grain. So I'll demonstrate in a minute, and we're gonna blow dry the back first, just up where the mane starts. So right where the withers are. Okay, so because afterwards we're gonna blow dry this really, really big. But first we're gonna just focus on the back, okay? So we're gonna blow dry right from the tail, backwards against the grain, until it's dry. If you wanna go longer than you think. When you think it's dry, you have another couple minutes, okay? And then we're gonna flip our dryer and go with the grain. That's gonna lay the coat over instead of this way, and then it's going to flatten it this way. Okay, and it's giving your dryer time to heat up, and that heat is gonna flatten this really, really well. You'll see how beautiful this is. Again, this is really cool techniques for HV dryers. These are really amazing dryers. Next, we're gonna work down our thigh, almost line brushing, so kind of hold the hair up with your hand. Okay, so I'll show you on this side, holding up and blow drying. And I'm letting the hair fall as I'm blowing. I'll demonstrate all these for you guys. And then on the rear end, we're going to do the same thing: lift up and blow dry down. But you can also blow dry a little bit more straight, just so we're getting a lot of volume. Instead of angling your nozzle down, anywhere we want volume, angle your nozzle straight. Does that make sense? That way, that's going to because we want when we do this main, we want this quite large, but we want his rear end to match. Right, like right now you can see if his mane is really big and his rear end is small, it doesn't quite balance him very well. So although we want this all to lay nice, we do want balance between his rear end and his back. That's also going to make him look more straight, right? So we want him to be very square. So that's really, really important, okay? So I'm going to demonstrate all of that to you guys and then you guys can, uh, can Go ahead and take that over. I'm not turning both engines on for me.
have low drive, but when you do that reverse, that's going to overextend the hair this way. But you've got to get it all the way dry. That's the key. If it's still damp, when you switch the other way, you're still going to get a couple little kinks in there. Okay, so it's got to be all the way dry, and then overextend the hair back down this way. Okay, and that, by the time you do that, your dryer's heated up too, and it's going to set that really, really nice. So even when he shakes, it's all gonna fall right back to where it was without using products, without using hairsprays. Because every time we put a bunch of product and spray in, we damage the hair, right? So we can set everything with blow dryers. It's the same as round brushing your hair when you're gonna go out for the night, right? So, um, so you're gonna wanna continue blow drying that. Leave your manes till very last. But go ahead and go down on your shoulders and down on the front leg frills, okay? Uh, and you guys noticed on this back foot, in the short hair, in the short hair, I went against and really close and really fluffed it. Because you want them to have a nice, strong bone structure. You can see these guys are a little bit fine. He doesn't have a lot of hair yet because he's young. You guys have a little bit hair, your dogs. But when you fluff up that really short hair, he's going to look like he's got denser, stronger bone structure, right? So you want to really... I bring the nozzle nice and close to that short hair and just really, really right in that short hair, any of the short hair, really, really close and really fluff it up. And we're going to even put some powder in there afterwards to give it volume, which is going to make him look like he's got stronger, bigger bones, right? So these guys are a bit hairier, these two, but yours don't want to really fluff up those because yours is very fine bone like mine, right? So just things that we can change the way they look that's the whole point of show, confirmation, and competition grooming is to enhance this particular dog's looks, right? So do that, lay your whole backs down, and when you're doing sides, we'll do it similar to the thighs, blow down. We want this to wrap around his rib cage. Shoulders down, front leg frills down. Wrap the front, I blow dry down here, so this starts to wrap around his leg, but then nice and big in the bottom area, okay? And very last, wait until I come back, we'll show you guys the main, very, very last, okay? And then we also want to get these cheeks. The key feature to the Sheltie is these beautiful, beautiful cheeks. We want it to come in and then the main to come out. So we really want to get a lot of volume in this area, so really, really flat on this area. So I'll show you guys all that after you're done your bodies, okay? So take your time, get it right, and then uh, we'll be back when it's time for the main and face, okay? You can use that one. I'll finish mine after you guys are done getting going. So go ahead and start whenever you want. Okay, guys. We will be back. <laughs>